And we back. A lot of people think the Golden State Warrior era is over. And I guess it makes sense. Draymond Green wants some money. Klay Thompson wants a max extension. Bob Myers is pretty much gone. I'm here to extend that. I'm here to, I'm here to extend the dynasty, man. I can't, I can't lie to you. I'm giving them their very own last dance. Simple as that. We're going to bring back Draymond Green. Klay Thompson on the last year of his deal. We're going to win one last championship. That's it, that's all. Because five is a lot, and, and we want a lot. I mean, four is a lot, three is a lot, two is a lot when it comes to NBA championships, let's be real. They already got four together. I'm here to help them get number five. Um, I think the first thing we can do to improve this roster is move Jordan Poole for stuff. Don't know exactly what it is just yet. We also got Jonathan Kaminga, who basically didn't play at all in the playoffs this year. A good young up-and-coming player, but just doesn't fit in too young, whatever it may be. Moses Moody got some tick here and there. But it is a bit iffy. I will say, of course, whenever I do these rebuilds, these are not in the world of realism. So I will be pulling off some trades. You're going to be like, whoa, that's something. It's, it's not supposed to be realistic. My goal is just to win that championship, okay? But I do think about it and say, like, if this is the last dance, the last run, they probably would keep Kaminga around even if he's upset because they'll just let the other dudes go because they're old and let Kaminga and them step up. Nope, not today. My goal is <laughs> I'm winning this championship this season. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, uh, Kaminga is probably going to be out the door. Jordan Poole is going to be out the door at 24. And we, I mean, Mo Moody was good for us again, but he might be out the door too. So I think we start off with going to the draft. Do, the, do we even have a pick this year? The answer is yes, we do. The 20th overall pick. Let me just make sure we got a good draft class in. Glad I looked because this ain't Victor Wibanyama. That is uh, somebody different. 20th overall pick. Now, in a traditional rebuild, I would, I would probably move on from that draft pick. Honestly, 20th overall. You pair that up with a uh, Jordan Poole. I, I bet we might get something decent here. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's jo Jordan Poole has three and a half star value. And the first trade we see is for Dalen Terry. Malcolm Brogdon. Okay. All right. I got an idea who I kind of want to trade for with Jordan Poole. It ain't, I'm not attaching that pick to make it happen. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to use the pick. Don't mean that that dude's going to stay on the roster for the beginning of the next season, but we're going to use the pick. First pick is going to go to Victor Wimiyama. We all know that. Brandon Miller goes two. School goes three. Jairus goes four. We got to trade the fifth overall pick for Clint Capella. What an awful trade if you're the Charlotte Hornets. You already got Mark Williams. They trade up to get Jet Howard at five. Brother. He would have been there wherever your pick is at. He probably would have been there. I'm in mean, Thompson, Cam Whitmore. Okay. Oh, another trade. I love the draft trades, by the way, because they're never good. Um, eighth overall pick for Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward. See what I mean? That's an awful trade. That's an awful trade. Uh, they take Rupert. T.J. Jackson goes nine. Uh, Grady goes ten. We have a trade to announce the Bulls. Wait, no. This is... The, the, see, this is what I mean. These trades are horrible, but it is what it is. Walker Kessler... Who was all NBA, or, or, not all NBA, all rookie first team, I think third and rookie of the year. Just got traded to the Orlando Magic for the 11th overall pick. And they they take this guy. All right. there There's a guy, Kaysen Wallace. Jay Shafino, okay. Right, do another trade to announce? No. Who's going to be here at 20? The Lakers trade their pick for TJ McConnell. Interesting. Um, oh, Taylor Hendricks is there at 17? All right. Oh my God! He was one pick away from us. I would have. Oh, I would have snagged him and had him on the team. We do still have uh, Keontae George here. Jordan Hawkins. He's ranked 63 for whatever reason. I, I don't think that's the case. Uh, Kobe Jones is here. I actually really like Jordan Hawkins. Shout out to him. I'm gonna draft him, even though it's probably a huge reach. We only got one first round. Oh, we only got one pick this whole draft. The dude can shoot. The dude can shoot. And and met him last week. He said he's a fan of my podcast. Okay, like, come on, how can I not root for this fella? Um, so he's a prospect, but as long as they got his shooting badge, it's nice, and they do. And as long as 75? Oh, they messing around with you, my boy. And I don't like that. So Draymond Green does decline his player option. No big deal. We've got to pray that nobody else offer him nothing crazy. Because at the end of the day, he is Draymond Green. Um, okay, he wants $22 million. I'm going to give him his one-year deal. Like I said, this is the last dance. I'm giving you a one-year deal, Draymond. Come come back 
and let's win this last championship. And now since we're still in the offseason, it's time to make the big trade. It's gonna be the, uh, the pool party is ending. He is not the Splash nephew, the slap, slap, Splash. He's not a Splash brother for sure. Uh, whatever it is, it's, it's ending right now because I wanna go out there and try to get last year of his deal, Pascal Siakam. $37 million, um, all NBA caliber player. We gotta make up $2 million and that's what we give them Kaminga. They might just say yes to this straight up, no draft capital involved. Jonathan Kaminga is a three-star value prospect who's going to be an 80 overall club. Jordan Poole should be at least at 85, 86 next season. So this is a really good trade for them if they're deciding that, hey, we want to hit that next direction. They brought in Jordan Clarkson. So that's interesting as far as uh, having a lot of guard play. But Jordan Poole's a point guard. So your potential lineup could be Jordan Poole, OG Ananobi, Pass. I mean, nope, we've got Pascal. Uh, Scotty Barnes and Chris Boucher and... Uh, uh, Yaka Pirtle. You also drafted Anthony Black. So you can have Anthony Black just chilling, learning from Jordan Poole. Chilling, learning from Jordan Poole. Because Jordan Poole is an NBA champion and a veteran. He, he's learned a lot. Um, he's also learned not to mess with Draymond Green. There, There's the trade. And I think that we're going to do the old 2K special and let Pascal run our small ball five for the start of the season. We love Loon Dog, and we know that Loon Dog could come off our bench and do great things. But we, I think we're gonna think we're gonna start Pascal Siakam. So the start lineup is is pretty solid, if you ask me. Um, we also brought in Kevin Love, who's about to regress. I'm already knowing he's gonna regress. He's 34. Um, we also brought in Dario Saric. Oh, Bruce Bruce Brown was the biggest acquisition this offseason because Bruce Brown is that nice. Um, hit the three point. He does a lot of the other stuff. The, the intangibles between Bruce Brown and Gary Payton II is is unheard of. Um, we do need a backup point guard because Ryan Rollins is not going to do that now that we trade. Oh my God, let's bring the brothers. We br now, now, Seth Curry's not going to be good next season, so we should also bring in like a Javon Carter type. Um, but let's bring the brothers together. This is the last dance, and why not help, help Lil Bro get a championship? How about that? So this went exactly the way I anticipated. So I can't say I'm upset because we knew... I, okay, I'm upset about Pascal drop. Oh, he only dropped because we changed position. That's the only reason he dropped. But Klay Thompson dropping, yeah, we saw that coming. Draymond Green dropping, sheesh, we saw that coming. But that's why we only gave him a one-year deal. Um, and then Seth Curry, we knew he was going to drop too. Moses Moody is still a hot commodity, I think, in these trade streets. And I'm willing to pair way, uh, part ways with him if things become available. With Draymond regressing this much, I kind of hate the idea of him starting. <laughs> 80 overall is not going to cut it for our championship team. But, I mean, we look cool. on Like, if this team ran into next season, people are like, oh, are the Warriors back? Now, we don't have no spark plug off the bench as far as a dude that could come in and give us 20 like Jordan Poole did. Uh, so, that's I think that that's the next obstacle we go through is trying to find that dude. And, again, I think we use Moses Moody as the bait for that. Um, and, low-key, we might be able to get it done before the season starts. I just got to take a look around the league. Preferably a guard, like a Terry Rozier coming off the bench would be nasty, but Terry Rozier's contract is $23 million. And if I'm looking at the trade pieces that we got, we have $8 million in Gary Payton if we want to move him. And then it's $3 million. So we got like $12 million, $11, $12 million in contracts right here. That's not a lot. That's not a lot of money to get somebody that's going to come in and get some buckets for you. So, um, I mean, unless you go like this route. Now, we, we don't have the assets to get the, this guy. But I just mean like a dude on a rookie contract still. We definitely have to play it safe by, ooh, Emmanuel quickly kind of fits that, bro. Ooh, we, we got to play it safe and simulate the start of the season. First game of the season is against the Lakers, and we do our thing. Um, we played against the, I'm saying we as if, because I'm, I'm the GM of the Warriors right now. Our first game this season was against the Lakers, the ring ceremony game, and I was in attendance for that. It was a cool moment. I would never been in a ring ceremony before. Um, I also want, selfishly, I want to see Steph Curry have a ridiculous season. I want to see Steph Curry go out there and average 35 plus type. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go to around end of January. End of January. See what teams are doing well, what teams aren't, and see if we can snag some pieces. Um, start off the first two weeks of, the, of basketball, we look pretty good. For some reason, our chemistry is not good, but give it give it some time. I guess we're just trying to incorporate Pascal Siakam into the lineup. And once we get the yeah, see, look at that. It's almost at a night. Oh, there it is. There, oh, we about to be a hundred, yep, a hundred chemistry team. We feel good. 13 to 6 to start the year. There I say that we back. We're the one seed. You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry, what are you averaging this year? What are you averaging? Please let it be good. Please let it be good. Steph Curry is averaging 37, 8, and 7. 50, 40. If he ain't the MVP of the season, if he ain't the MVP of the season, some somebody's in trouble. Pascal's only averaging 16. Okay. Clay Thompson give us a good 20 on 50. Ooh, I mean 40, 
55% from three. Wiggs is 50-40-60 club because he can't hit his free throws, but he's efficient from the field. Draymond is 6-6-6. Six, six, and six. Okay, we, we'll take that from Draymond Green right now. Loon Dog off the bench is averaging 13.4 rebounds per 36. Brucey Brown is, is shooting really good from three. Oh, speaking of shooting really good. Now, how many three-pointers you attempted, though? Uh, that's not bad, GP the second, bro. I, I got to trade you most likely, but I don't... Oh, Kevin Love probably. Yeah, Kevin Love is not looking good this year. Okay, we feel cool. What teams aren't? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're looking for somebody that can come off our bench and score a little bit. Now, maybe we don't need that type, but I'm going to still look for that type. Uh, I see Kobe White here. Kobe White is averaging 10 points per game. Good shooting splits. He can do that. I'm going to add him to our list, and he's going to be relatively cheap. Oh, man. Why are the Grizzlies selling? Why are they selling? I mean, if we need shooting. No, I'm, I'm not traded for Desmond Bain. Even though they're selling, they're not very good. I just, I know we're not living in a world of realism, but that's just too unrealistic. Also, um, didn't the Charlotte Hornets trade for Clint Capella? Or am I tripping? What team traded for Clint Capella this year? It wasn't the Charlotte Hornets because the Hornets had Brandon Miller. So, yeah, who, who traded? Who traded for Clint Capella? Some team traded for Clint Capella. I, I just remember Clint Capella getting moved. Oh, it was the... You know what? I, you know what? I said Mark Williams instead of um, instead of J Jalen Duran earlier in the video, and I already know you wrote your comment. Don't go delete your comment. Leave that comment there. I misspoke, and that's okay. What is uh, Gary Trent Jr. making? Ooh, what type of seeds you having, Gary? You know, because you can shoot at least a little bit. Twelve points per game, thirty-eight percent from three. We'll add Gary Trent to the team or to the list. Selling straight up selling. Malik Monk is on a selling team. Uh oh. Uh oh. Malik Monk is on a selling team. The Knicks have him in here quickly. He's on a selling team. He's also shooting 40% from three this season. Oh, we got a lot of options. We also have the Indiana Pacers who are running without money. They, they have nothing. Um, and they also made a trade, didn't they? Did they not trade for Gordon Hayward? I must be bugging, bro. I, I swear I'd be recording a lot of videos at one time, but I, I know I ain't going crazy now. What was that last video? Bro, okay, maybe I am going crazy. Yeah, maybe I am going crazy. Anyway, we got a list of players. Kobe White, I'm getting you off the list. He's other dudes, though. Why, wait, wait, why they get Looney on the trade block? I didn't tell him to do that. I ain't telling him to put Looney on the trade block. That wasn't me. But, like, Malik, Malik Monk is actually the prototypical dude I'm thinking about when I say come off our bench and score. 13 points per game, 40% three-point shooter this season, 90% from the free throw line. Um, quickly is that as well, uh, with about 15 points per game, 40% from... Hmm... I think it might be easier to trade for Malik Monk. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go talk to the Kings about Malik Monk. So boom, $9 million. Like I said, we gonna have Gary Payton, who again is having a good year, but we, we have to make sacrifices in this thing that we call it the association. Yeah, this feels weird, man. This feels weird. Are they gonna say yes, they will? Oh, that trade feels weird because we all know how good Gary Payton can be in this system specifically. Now, we're just gonna move Bruce Brown over to the three. Yeah, it's, just, it's gonna be a smaller lineup, but hey, it is what it is. We gotta do what we gotta do to win this championship. We might not even be done, mostly because there are some other teams that were selling the rebuild, and like, with Kevin Love being bad, I kinda don't want Kevin Love on the team, you know what I'm saying? So we should be looking at backup power for it too, because this is the last run, there is no next season. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, we're done. So we gotta go out there and make the right decisions to win this championship this season. Luckily for us, we are already the best team in the, in the conference. So we ain't got too far away to go, but we just got to round these edges off to make sure that we got the best possible team. Salty Dom is an upgrade. This Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not an upgrade. Get him off my list. Now, we don't have a lot of money for whatever trade we do. It's got to be close to no money being spent. Like Trey Lyles. Should I just talk to the Kings again? I just take all of the Kings. Like the beam, no. Uh, we defeated y'all last year, so we get to take some of y'all players. I'm putting Trey Lyles on the list. I wish the Knicks had somebody. Obi Toppin is making six. He's not. He hasn't played a second. I'm sorry. No, that's not true. He's played a minute. That Obi Toppin. Two. I'm sorry. Two minutes. Get Obi Toppin potentially on our team, bro. At a 77, he'd actually play for us. A lot of power forwards. Oh, Jeremy Grant is back. Okay. All right. That's something. A lot of solid power forwards here. I'm going to look at Isaiah Stewart, I guess. Um... I guess, you know, just looking at people that could be on the block. You got you got three good power forwards in the roster. I mean, wow, this team is uh, interesting. 15th seed. Not good, but interesting. Not good, but interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, so Obi Toppin's contract is probably the easiest one to trade for. What is he making? $6 million. Oh, no, it's Trey Lyles. Yep, it's Trey Lyles. We could have just made this a good package deal because I'm talking to the Kings once again about 
uh, taking one of their players. I'm sorry, Kings fans. Hey, hey, we got y'all the championship last week. So, you know what I'm saying? Or two weeks ago. I think you can live with us taking a few of your players today. We will give you Kevin Love and we'll give you Patrick Baldwin Jr. You give us back your cheapest player, which in this case is going to be Jermichael Green. They want to swap first round picks in 2026. We'll do that. That's the deal, man. We got Jermichael Green back. You know, he was here last season. Uh, do we need him? Nope, but we got him. And you know what? Jermichael can kind of run some three with his 6'9 frame. We'll make him a backup three. Overall stays oh, three, backup four. Um, and he'll play some minutes there potentially. Yeah, bro. We look good, man. We look good, bro. Stop playing with us. We about to really go out here and get this fifth, cha fourth cha fifth championship. First game after all the trades. Let's see. Did our chemistry go down? It didn't. Oh, it did. Okay. We lost about 20. Um, Jordan Beat is still good. James Harden is still good. Uh, so it's not too crazy, but St Steph Curry had a good game. All right, let's go get this championship, man. Really the last dance. Really, really the last dance, man. 36, 8, and 7. Oh, my God. He missed 50, 40, 90. He missed 50, 40, 90. L, 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 um, MVP, man. No 50, 40, 90? Come on, man. All, all my MVPs must be 50, 40, 90. Did that mean... So, when was his last... Look, he was perfect from... This free throw right here. He didn't even realize... This free throw, too. He didn't realize that those four... These four free throws that he missed... The reason he missed 50, 40, 90. All right, uh, Vic did his thing. Um, he also won DPOY as a rookie. <laughs> oh, he won DPOY as a rookie, man. That that dude, Vic, baby, coming to the years and going crazy. Um, oh, the Cavs are really good. Okay, I, I was expecting Steve Curry to get his award too. The last dance for him, maybe. I don't know, because I I feel like the coach has to go too, right? Because because Phil Jackson left the Bulls too after that year. Oh, they got Jonathan Isaac on the team now. <laughs> That's why they won so many games. The defense was was ridiculous. We won a total of 62 games. So it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? They not just running away with everything. They they were they were better. Um their point differential was 0.1% better. We ended the season on a 13 game win streak. What are they in a season on? Two? They're bad. <laughs> we're a lot better. Um hmm. the the home warriors are a thing, but guess what? This year we can win on the road too. So I feel I feel good about this year, man. First round, let's see who we're going against. It's going to be the Lakers. Oh, it might be the Lakers. It's going to be the Lakers. I had a feel. I, when I saw that the Lakers missed the playoffs completely, I was like, they're going to be in the play-in. And here they are in the play-in. They got Riley, some guy, as a shooting guard. They found another diamond in the rough, potentially, like Austin Reeves, like Alex Caruso. I'm not sure, but he started. Uh, let's see. Game one is a win. We want our revenge after what y'all did to us last season. Game two is a win, so we retain home court 55 points. Come on, Steph. Slow down, Steph. We lose game three. That's That's fine. They got Sam Morrell, Sam Miro, Sam, he, he, he was the last pick in the draft a couple years ago. He is getting real minutes for this team. We cannot be losing games to him. He's getting real minutes. It's up, okay, this this season he didn't, or that game he didn't. All right, I also just saw Klay Thompson didn't do anything this game. Klay, I know it's the last ride, but that, that don't mean you got to not play basketball. Trey Lyles, I'm taking those minutes down at least a little bit, and we're going to make sure that our guy, Wardell Stephen Curry, is going to be dead tired in a minute because we need him to play every minute of the game close to it we need this game desperately we get the game we just need to win one more game five clay this is game six right here hey all right we we yanking the we can't yanking game six clay name away from him draymond green you ain't safe either because what are you doing draymond is coming off the bench that's the adjustment coach is doing draymond is coming off the bench we need loon dog in there to grab some boards uh or something here, here we go game seven luckily at home and we don't lose at home often uh, don't let my last dance video come in and L. Okay, we win. Thank you, man. Thank you. See? See? All can be so simple. Just take care of business while you're here. Looney, what did you do? Close to nothing, but hey, that's about the same Draymond did. <laughs> Steph Curry in the game 7 at 40, which is dope. Um, Anthony Davis didn't show with 18 points in the game 7. Okay. Now let's put our original star lineup back together. Draymond Green, you can come back to the lineup. But the moment we start losing the series is the moment we take you out. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, same roster. They got Bones at the one and older Nicola, Bat Nicola Batum at the four. Draymond versus Nicholas Batum should be interesting, right? Said nobody. Game one is a win. Uh, we, blew, oh, we blew these boys out. Is this going to be a quick series? We, we, did we blow them out again? We blew them boys out. Oh, quick series. Never mind. They take a game. About one point. So we still feel good. 3-1 us. Come on, don't let every game go to seven. There we go. Did we get a game six clay? I'm waiting for one game six clay performance. And yeah, it's not happening. The name, I'm getting, I'm yanking the name away. We're in the conference finals to go against the Denver Nuggets. 
All right, let's go, Denver. Oh, wait. No, let's go Golden State. They got Kelly Oubre at the two now. How did they pull that off? I'm not sure. No KCP. We took Bruce Brown away for them, so they're missing some of that. Uh, but this is a really well-constructed team, as you know. There's a reason why they're here. Uh, they went to a Game 7 against OKC. And in this Game 7, Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., and Kelly Oubre all put up 25-plus. That's huge. Uh, they got Jordan Wara getting real minutes, okay? Zeke Nagy is getting real minutes. No Noel and Praetorian Prince. They don't have a good roster outside of that starting six or so. Wiggins in the game one had a monster game. Shout out to him. Game two is an also a win. We retain home court possession. And just look at this. Look at all these 20 point per game scores here, man. And then Draymond, his 20 come in the world of assisting, you know? Game three, we lose, okay? Um, MVP Jokic, a 35 point triple double with zero turnovers. That's just another day at the office for him. But we win this one. We're one game away from being back in the finals. We're one game away from being back in the finals. And we're there. 35, 8, and 7 for Steph Curry in the conference finals, but he's going against DG to PG, the two heavy hitters of this season going head-to-head. -head. Now, this is a really good team, man. We got the beat at the point guard, but they they match up very, and I mean very, very well to us. The one place we probably got an advantage is that bench, and that's what I'm going to tell myself. They have Alec Burks, Isaac Okoro, Jaden, or Jalen McDaniels. Okay, it's a lot better for us. And then Mason Plumlee. Um, they don't have no scoring off the bench, bro. I mean, in this game, they ended up with 25-ish points together. But, like, they ain't got no spark plug. And that might be the determining factor because we got one of those. And he gave us 12 points tonight. And Wiggins has six offensive boards. Give Wiggins the MVP hat. I know he shot poorly. But six offensive boards has given us a lot of different opportunities to do cool stuff. Klay Thompson said, hey, I may have been trash for the first parts of the playoffs so far. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in and play well in the NBA Finals. And we need that. So far in the play, oh, he's playing well. I just, every time I look at the box score, he's at the bottom of it. Game two, we lose. Okay, that's fine. We took home court advantage because they had home court. Game three, we win. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Pascal, what are you doing? He's doing okay. He's doing okay. That's what he's doing. He's doing okay. 3-1 series. Uh, we're not the type of team to blow one of these. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, can we get out of there? Can we get out of there? I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Um, okay. We got killed on the glass. Loon Dog, it's your time to shine. This is the last game of the season. I'm taking Bruce Brown. Your minutes are gone. Looney, I'm giving you big minutes, man. I'm giving you big minutes. You're playing over Draymond tonight. I'm sorry, Dre, but... We got to do what we got to do. Steph Curry's getting all the minutes. Pascal's getting minutes. Also, Pascal, you should be getting more rebounds than that, but we'll let it slap for right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did I jinx us? I jinxed us, didn't I? Game seven. Here we go. We're in Cleveland with it. All right. Here we go. Last, last dance. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh. They had, okay, they had a little bit of comeback in that third quarter. Other than that, we did it. Steph Curry gets number five, Draymond gets five, Klay Thompson gets number five, and Pascal gets number two. Shout out to Pascal. Uh, Wiggins gets two. All right, last dance. Sheesh, they tried it, bro. They really did. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.